Uh... Okay, hold on. <laughs> it's all under control, baby. Test, test. I'm gonna set up everything on the fly while I talk to you guys. Let me just get my chat back up really quick. Uh, there we go. There's my chat. So sorry about that. Um, the encoder should be fixed now. It seems to be behaving a little bit better. You guys talking about corgis? Yellow. Yeah, that was, um... That was, uh... Probably a side effect to my computer being on too long. Sometimes... Sometimes just dinking around on my computer can cause, uh... Certain... Apps or background processes to get clogged up. Like, tubes. And then that happens, my encoder gets overloaded. Because, uh, all that bullshit's happening in the background that isn't supposed to be. So, it should be all good now. Um... Just pulling up a few different things here, getting everything back where it should be. How are you guys doing? What is that silhouette? That is Gex. Give me a sec here. Got like 50 different windows going on. Pull this up. Oh, don't I- don't you love this technical stuff that happens during streams sometimes? It's... it's so fun. It's fun for everyone, really. It's like you're part of the magic. Okay, now... The final step here... Well, actually, no, it's not the final step. Oh, streams have layers. Let's see. Ah. Uh? Okay, that's good. Good, good, good. Gex is a gecko from a game series made in the 90s. Not a very successful series. But definitely, um, definitely part of my childhood. Okay, there we go. That's back. Well, at least we weren't in the middle of anything important. I was just walking around and exploring and talking to people. Okay. I think we're all fixed up here. Let's get back into things. Alright. You went on Google Images. Why is- why is that a wrong move? People draw weird things of Gex? That's weird. Okay, um, I guess we're ready to start this dungeon out. So we've got Vincent, Barrett, and Sid. Uh, I think I've got Vincent mostly equipped here. 
see if there's anything that I'm missing. So he should be able to have... Alright, two strike, death blow. Um... Contain... Barret's got Quadra Magic with Comet and Ultima. I don't even know why I have Alexander on Sid. Uh, besides, like, for Elemental. I is there really, Doc? Well, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Um... I don't know what I'm gonna do with that information, but I'm probably just gonna store it in the back of my head where I forget things. <laughs> Forever. Forever. Let's see. Um... Instead of that, let's give him sense. Or maybe... I don't know why the fuck I have Alexander. Eh, we'll keep it on him for now. Oh my god, guys! <laughs> Stop! My chat has devolved into discussing... ...some stuff I don't want to talk <laughs> about. Y you guys are having a lot of fun on the Google, aren't you? Oh boy. Uh, okay. So... This is the uh, way we get to the, uh... Underwater reactor. Hold on a sec. Uh, let me get back in the game here. Our forces are in the process of gathering the huge material from the Corel and Fort Condo reactors! Once those two missions are completed, the underwater reactor will be our next target! Till then, we do nothing but train, train, train! Wait, what? Oh, I hit the alarm. Um, I just... I, I just did all those. Oh yeah, if you hit that alarm, some high-level enemies will start coming out. I wanna see which ones they are. Okay, let's see. So these are some enemies uh, that'll be coming up soon, or now. But you can fight them a little early by hitting that alarm. A hundred needles. These are probably actually exactly on my level right now. So this is, um... This is Vincent's kind of thing. He turns into monsters, um... But when he does that, you, you actually lose control of what he, uh, what he does. So he becomes like his own AI. And it can make or break a fight. Unfortunately, that AI does nothing but limit breaks for the rest of the fight, so he can't, like, use items or, uh, any support abilities at all. I guess I'm not supposed to be here right now. Interesting. Where the fuck am I supposed to go, then? Because last stream, I did Corel, and I did the Condor, and I did, uh, Mount the Condor place, so... I'm wondering, am I supposed to go to Cosmo Canyon? You know what? I probably do. I probably have to go to Cosmo Canyon. So... The thing that's happening right now is that Shinra is going to all these reactors around the world and checking them out for what's called huge materia, which is like super condensed, gigantic materia, so they can load it into like this weapon or something. Um, and we're trying to beat them to it. And we've gotten two out of the three that have been made available. The third one's in that underwater reactor, but I guess for some reason it's not letting me just immediately go into it, because they're saying like, they're not ready yet? So... If I'm correct, you go to Cosmo Canyon to drop off the Hughes Materia. I haven't dropped off any. So maybe, uh, that's what I need to do. Yeah, it's kind of like the crystals. You're right, Jeff. Um... <laughs> I think I have, like, a cold coming on. Kind of hear it in my voice. The 
Like the the back of my throat was a little bit uh like sore and dry earlier. There's one on the train. Yeah, that that's Corel. Um Wait, did I have to actually physically get it off the train? Hold on a sec. What I need to do is check, um... My key items. What have I been doing? Wait, what? Fort Condor? Why? We just did it! I, I finished that! Hold on, let me check my key items, because then I think... I think I might have missed something. I have... I have the Corel one. I think I need to talk to someone at Fort Condor to get the huge materia that I rightfully deserve. That's probably what happened. Okay. Okay. Alright. That's what happened. What have you been doing to get your throat dry? Um... Living my life? I don't know. Explain to me how pathogens work. I breathe in the wrong air particles, I guess? I don't know. Like, sore throat. Starts out with like a really dry back of the throat. Or a cold can too. And then it becomes really hard to make, like, raspy voices or something if I'm doing voice acting, unfortunately. I think I need to talk to this guy. Everyone, thanks. I really mean it. Thanks. Although there isn't anything we can give you, we'll make sure you can stop in and stay any time. So be sure to drop by. Yes, yes, and there's one thing I forgot to tell you. There it is. Huge item. Or keep the, the the fucking key item I wanted. This old fuck was holding on to. God damn it. Huh? What's this? Damn, man. It's huge materia. This is. The truth is, this is the materia inside the reactor. What the hell did we fight for? We weren't protecting the reactor, we were protecting the condors. When that reactor was built, they forced us to help. That's how we knew that what was inside the reactor. I knew this day would come, so after the Shinra left, I sneaked in and took the materia. I didn't mean to fool you, but I guess that's how it ended up. I'm really sorry. Just forget about it. Anyway, we're still alive. Gear said that, really? I need to thank him. I see. If you put it that way, we're really grateful. So the last huge materia that Shinra's after is in the underwater reactor in Junin. But we gotta get there first and beat him no matter what. But you know, Shinra's probably on high alert since we always mess with him. Mess with him. You always mess with him. <laughs> How about we take a little break and go see that little fella for a bit? You must mean Cloud. Yeah, I'm worried about Tifa. She might have collapsed taking care of the guy. How about checking in on him? Down to deal. Do you know how to do Morgan Freeman? Well, I might know how to do a really shitty Morgan Freeman. We gotta go down to Medill and go see Cloud and Tifa. So they can carry on the plot for a little while. Oh, it was Norix? I was like, dude, it's super rare to hear a compliment like that from Giromatic. He's a very reserved man. I love Gear. He's <laughs> John's such a funny guy. <laughs> He's a really loyal friend, too. Very good man, Gear. He has very chill streams. You guys should watch him, too. So we finally got the huge materia.
So I guess now we're going to Medeal to go check on Cloud and his Mako sickness. Cloud unfortunately fell into a puddle of Mako energy. Um, and washed up a million miles away. In a beach resort made for old people. Uh, just how it kind of worked, I guess. Yeah, Gear's like that kind of- Gear's that kind of friend who's like, he's, he's really quiet all the time, but then when he says something, it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> like, he- he knows how to time his- his, uh, his moments very well. He's quite the memer. You don't expect it either, you really don't. Oh, I don't know- I don't know who he was in Chitango. It's I don't... I can't remember any of that stuff, man. It's been so long. It's no use. I don't understand a thing, Cloud. What should I do? What if you never recover for the rest of your life? Eh, uh, yeah? <laughs> they're... They're coming. What did you say, Cloud? Uh. Damn, what the hell's going on? Uh, earthquake. Yeah, I hate earthquakes. This isn't good, it's big. Can't say this place has much to do with the Chitango, though. Um. I was a part of it for a little while, but that that's about it. <laughs> What's this? The life streams gushing up from below the surface of the earth. Damn, that's this is bad. Sid, what's wrong? N nothing. You and Cloud get inside quick. But I. Don't worry about a thing. I ain't about to die that easily. Be careful. Okay, here I go. Watch this! I didn't know Oni, uh... I never actually seen any Oni's Let's Plays. I didn't know we did FF7. I told you the bear date was real, hated the link. Bear date is like the best fucking secret in this game. Damn, that's fucking weapon! Of all the times to show up! Voice crack? Okay then, come on, you bitch! Big old chunky ass bitch! So this is the first weapon fight in the game. I think this is Ultima weapon. Uh, Sid has Alexander, so I kind of want to see what that does against this dude. Actually, you know what? It's probably not going to do anything because they're the same fucking element. Oops! No, wait, no, Alexander's holy. I don't think holy... He's not holy. Ultimate weapon's just nothing. I love the weapon designs in this game, though. Yeah, that's right, Darth. Line sauce has grown quite a bit. It's pretty phenomenal, really. It's all through, you know, Vinny's charisma and the rest of the team. They're all really, really good people. I think they deserve their success. Uh, let's see. Maybe Bio 3 will work very well against him. I'm not sure. Oh my god! I wanted Comet! Okay, Vincent's down. Did I get Knights of the Round yet? Uh, no. Because it's kind of hard to do that when I don't have a gold chocobo. Um, I need to either get 
I need to either kill Ruby Weapon or start farming Chocobos. And I don't really want to start farming Chocobos yet. I haven't even met the Chocobo Sage, honestly. I really need to get on that. Yeah, I think Mental Gen has done uh, so much work for the community in Vine Sauce. Alright, you're gonna fly off now, you big baby bitch? Get the fuck out of here. Jen and uh, Marissa are really, really dedicated to the Vine Sauce community and helping it grow. They're also really good friends. You little bitch trying to escape! Damn, man. Just a little bit more and I would have smashed him. And the live stream also appears to be normal. Damn, you gotta be kidding! Th this is bad. The mainstream's kicking up. Something way bigger than that. The last one is on its way. No good. Get out of here. God damn it. You don't have time to worry about anyone other than yourself. You don't know when that string will blow. Whoa! There's no time. Hurry! <laughs> this whole talent is full of old people that are gonna die. <laughs> Tifa! Cloud! Get out of here! This is bad. The tremors are getting worse. Wait a minute, Cloud. Doctor, shouldn't we move him somewhere rather than stay here? Mm, it might be safer to take refuge in a wide open space. Don't you worry about a thing, Cloud. I'll see to it that you get somewhere safe. No! The structure can't take it! Hurry! Yes! Oh, I guess we do get Cloud back now. Ready, Cloud? We're leaving now! Barrett! <sighs> well, his official voice is the guy who did, um, Jet Black from Spike Spiegel- uh, uh, from Cowboy Bebop- from Spike Spiegel- The Spike Spiegel Show! Um, his English dub was by the guy who did Jet Black, who's a really good voice actor and I couldn't hope to ever do his voice. Um... I wouldn't say he sounded like Samuel L. Jackson, though. Just kind of like a really tough... I don't know, he, he has... He comes from a very southern town as well, so it's like he has like a slight dialect to him. And that's like canon, even in the text. Um... I don't know, look up Advent Children, and, uh, look up clips of him, his, uh, voice actor. I'm not sure if that guy returns in the, uh, the remake, though. I haven't looked up who, uh, voices Barrett now. I hope it's the same guy. I really like Jet Black's voice actor. I can never remember his fucking name, though. Like, I know Steve Bloom, but... I can't ever remember that guy's name. I, I know, like, the character. I'm like, Jet Black's voice actor. How sad is that? <laughs> what? Where am I? What's happening? I yeah, he does have a brawl, uh, a a, bra a drawl. He's a he's a coal miner. I'm a coal mine in town. Where's Cloud? Cloud, where are you? Huh? What? Who? Who is it? I can't hear. Is that a fucking Kefka laugh? Wait a minute. I don't know anything about that. No, it's not me. I never do anything like that. Right now she's out. Uh, this is... So everyone... Well, I get... Uh, often people ask, like, what the fuck is happening right now? So she's in the live stream right now. And what's basically happening... She's actually unconscious. But the live stream is literally kind of how it sounds. It's a 
literal stream of life energy, and it's how the planet recycles, like, uh, souls and stuff like that. So she's basically been thrust into a radioactive stream of souls and is being assaulted with, like, information um, of people's lives and whatever. And apparently this makes some people go insane, like Cloud. <laughs> so... Confusing, convoluted story, but that's kind of what's happening. He's kind of having like this weird little existential crisis. No, stop it! Stay back! Somebody help, please! It's just like playing all the sounds throughout the game. <laughs> oh god. Cloud, help me! Yeah, I guess it's easy, you're right. It was just poorly translated. One guy, I think, it was like one guy who did all the translation for this. So it's, I can't, I, I, it'd be, it's gonna be interesting to see how they explain it in the remake. How everything works. So far, it's just kind of like, I don't know, soul recycling, I guess. Um... Oh, you whispered something you made for me? Let me see. What is this? I'm gonna check that out in a little bit. Thank you. What? Where am I? There are a lot of fan translations, but unfortunately, I this is not a ROM, so... I'd have to get a ROM to do those, and this is with my actual disc. This is what we had to grow up with. Cloud? What is it, Cloud? What is this? Is this inside your dreams? Or is it your subconsciousness? You're searching, aren't you, Cloud? Searching for yourself. I can't- I can help too. We'll work together and try and get the real you back. But where do we start? You know, another thing, speaking of the FF7 remake, I've been trying so hard to get the, um, the D-make of FF7 to work on my, uh, EverDrive. I don't think it's gonna happen, unfortunately. It uses a mapper for the, uh, the Nintendo Entertainment System that is just not compatible with most emulators. Like, you need a very specific one to make it work or play it in a browser. So, if I ever, like, play the FF7 D-make, which is... Almost the entire game, but a lot of it's cut out to make, you know, fit into a NES game. It's it's interesting. It was it was originally Chinese, uh, but and now it's been, like, translated, and, like, people have been working on it for a few years now to make it um, a lot better. Something I'm thinking about doing. I don't know how long the game actually is, though. It's probably pretty long. I'd say it's, I would estimate it's about half the time in the original Final Fantasy VII. The gates of Nibelheim. Five years ago, Sephiroth passed through these gates. And now, that's how it all started. It connects to Nibelheim? That's right. It's probably best to start from there. Let's go have a look, Cloud. I know it's not easy, but I'll be I'll be right with you. Oh no, CZ, this this thing came out years ago. Um it's not getting it's not getting a cease and desist. First of all, it can't, because it was originally a Chinese ROM hack um that was sold as a cart, I think. Or someone people have sold it as a cart. But it's been out for years. And like people just keep improving on it now. So, they, they can't really do anything about it. Um, I don't think Square or really cares either. There's so many ROM hacks of Final Fantasy out there. See you, Dan. Cloud, look. Actually, CZ, you know, I think Vin, like, thought 
it was a joke game at one point and tried to play it on a Sunday, and then he found out it was like a serious like re remake, and then he decided not to play it. This happened like I think over the summer actually. So, I mean, he's even he's even played it a little bit. Here's the well, and that's Gramps Inn too. The only truck in town. It's been here since we were little kids, right? Is the remake going to include stuff from Crisis Core? Probably. I would... Most likely, yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> well, no, not really unfortunately, but... I, I bet some of the stuff I wish was not in Crisis Core is going to be in there as well. This is the Nibbleheim you remember, right? It's the same as my Nibbleheim. That's why this place is our Nibbleheim. I don't think Adam and Children is very canon. As far as I know, it's not. It's even even like in with just like Japanese subs. That movie did not make much sense. I think it was just like fan pandering. Just throwing the fans a bone. Five years ago, two men from Soldier came. Sephiroth and a young, vibrant soldier. Can you tell me again what happened? So what's happening right now is, um... Cloud and Tifa's minds have kind of, like, melded into the, into the live stream. And I guess, like, they're... They're sharing, like, the same... Like, existential experience, almost. Or whatever. And, like, now Tifa's helping... Cloud, who's been... Kind of, um... Suffering from Mako poisoning, and... Just... I guess, tripping face 24 fucking 7. Now she's able to get into his mind, kind of like police knots. And, <laughs> Fix everything. Tifa did remember this. Um, she didn't want to say anything. How does it feel? Five years ago, I saw the real Sephiroth for the very first time. It's your first time back to your hometown in a long time, right? So, how does it feel? I wouldn't know, because I don't have a hometown. Um, how about your parents? So, this is the great Sephiroth. My mother is Genova. She died right after she gave birth to me. My father. But to tell the truth, I thought he was very cold. What does it matter? All right. Let's go. I remember... felt a foreboding about him. So earlier in the game... Here's what's happening right now. Um, so er earlier in the game, Cloud told this exact story. Um, and Cloud's attempting to tell it again the way he told it. What we didn't know earlier in the game was that Tifa knew Cloud had his story all mixed up and was psychoanalyzing him and taking note of when he said something that didn't happen or when he said something that he said he did that he did not do, but someone else did, that someone else being Zack. So she's correcting him now because he's still like stuck on to the fact he thinks he's Zack. And this is due to Genova cells taking on the memories of other people and Cloud being kind of a broken, broken mind. Um, kind of. A little bit. Just a little. So she's uh, playing therapist, I guess, in some ways. No, Cloud. I've been hiding it for some time. Afraid that if I told you, something terrible might happen. But I'm not going to hide anything anymore.
You weren't here. Cloud did not come to Nibelheim five years ago. I waited, but Cloud never came. The two that were ordered here were Sephiroth and another person. All right, let's go. There he is. Hold on a sec. Moving things. That's better. You mean that member of Soldier who came with Sephiroth wasn't Cloud? Oh wait, no, that's Cloud talking. There's nothing I can say. You must find the answer yourself. If you can't, then you... Take your time, Cloud. Slowly. Little by little, okay? So, what happened just there is that, like I said, we, Cloud believed that he was part of the, the two soldiers that came to Nibelheim um, originally. He was not. He was actually not either of them. In fact, he was there, but he was someone else. That starry night at the well, and our promise that night. What if the memory was just a lie? Don't worry, Cloud. Don't answer too quickly. Just keep checking on all those small emotions, and it'll come back, slowly, little by little. Right, li like the sky that night. The heavens were filled with stars. If you don't understand what's happening, that's normal. Don't worry about it, dude. <laughs> it's it's hard to get. And it's that's just the result of poor translation. I'm trying so hard to be able to explain this in simple ways, but it's not simple at all. <laughs> From the beginning, okay? Yeah, Tyson's got it. Tyson has, Tyson has it now. Cloud was experimented on with alien parasites that fuck up your memories and was subjected to Mako poisoning, which is like radioactive stuff, which also fucks up your memories. Um, Cloud is not... Cloud basically is like, if you gave someone amnesia and injected another personality into them, that's what a Cloud do. It makes sense in fantasy land. Um, this would never fucking happen in real life. Unless you were legit crazy, I suppose. <laughs> Cloud was given a body massage. Try and remember, Cloud. Yeah, Cloud is parents. We've seen, we've seen uh, Cloud's mother. Right. I was wearing these clothes. That's you. You were sm so small then. And cute. Sephiroth once said... That I was cute? Oh. Cloud made up his memories by listening to my stories. Did you imagine the sky? No, you remembered it. That night the stars were gorgeous. It was just Cloud and I. We talked the well. That's why I continue to believe that you were the real Cloud. I still believe you're the Cloud from Nibelheim. But you don't believe in yourself. These memories aren't enough.
<laughs> that is true. All Cloud wanted was some money from Barrett, and then he wound up being sucked into a live stream and going through this existential crisis. Good lord. And like, having to travel the world fighting major industries and armies. He's just like, I just wanted $3,000. Cloud, what about your other memories? No, not memories. A memory is something that has to be con consciously recalled, right? That's why sometimes it can be mistaken and a different thing. But it's different from a memory locked deep within your heart. That's why it must be fake. If he could recall up that memory... That's it! What about some memory that has to do with me? I say something and you don't remember it. But you say something, and I remember it too. Then we'll know that's our memory. Talk to me about anything. Some important memory to you. Now that you mention it, why did you want to join Soldier in the first place? I always thought it was a sudden decision you made. I was devastated. I wanted to be noticed. I was devastated. I wanted to be noticed. I thought if I got stronger, I could get someone to notice. Someone to notice you? Who? Who? You know who. You, that's who. You. Me? Why? Tifa, did you forget about those days? Look, I... I'm sorry, but what are you talking about? Oh shit, Hannibal Link got hit by the filter. <laughs> sorry, dude. I forgot that was in there. I'll have to take that one out. No, it's all right. You were having a hard time back then. You were so busy with your own things. It's only natural you don't remember me back then. Back then? It's important to me. I hate to say it, but it's a very important memory. Do you want to see it? Come on, hurry. A sealed up secret. Wish. Tender memories. No one can ever know. Secret. Secret tendies. Do you know where this window goes to, Tifa? Fine. I'll go. This is impossible geometry. Is Sephiroth some kind of mind reader like Voldemort or some shit? Uh, a little bit, but that's only really because he has Genova cells. My room? It was my first time there. Was it? I only used to look up at it from outside. Hey, look! Cloud's coming! You think he wants to come in? Was that the first day you came into my room? That's right. We lived next to each other. But I really didn't know you that well. I've known you since we were children and thought we always thought we were close.
Yeah, this is probably the longest segment of cutscenes in the game. Now that you mention it, I don't recall you ever being in my room. Tifa used to always be with this threesome. That's right. I used to think they were all stupid. What? You were all childish, laughing at every little stupid thing. But we were children back then. I know. I'm the one that was stupid. I really wanted to play with everyone, but I was never allowed into the group. Then later, I began to think I was different. That I was different from those immature kids. That then, maybe... So I grew a neckbeard, set up a bunch of computers, and lived in my basement and streamed video games. Called myself Desert P. Just couldn't handle reality anymore. Just maybe they would invite me in. I thought that might happen, so I hung around. I was so prejudiced and weak. That night I called Tifa out to the well. I thought to myself, Tifa would never come. She hated me. Yeah, it was so sudden. I was a bit surprised. But... It's true that we weren't that close, but... After you left town, I really thought about you a lot. I used to wonder how Cloud was doing. I wonder if Cloud was able to get into Soldier. I started reading the newspapers, thinking that there might be an article about you. Thanks, Tifa. Tell him what you told me later. He'll probably be so happy. Okay. Huh? Alright, CZ, you going to bed? Good night, dude. Thanks for stopping by, friend. What happened on this day? Was it a special day? This was the day. Tifa's mother. Why is he blinking? Because it's a party, yo. And he just kicked on the strobe light. I don't know. Because he's, 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 he's phasing in and out of reality? I, I don't really know. <laughs> Hi, Jen. How are you? The day mom died. I want to see mom. Cloud didn't remember any of this, kind of because um, his memory's a bit screwed up. It's really hard to just jump into this story in the middle. It's a bit more than screwed up, though. It's like literally broken into pieces and glued back together all wrong. With, like, bits of another p puzzle piece thrown in there, just for fun, I guess. You ever seen a jigsaw puzzle, but, like, people, like, put in the wrong pieces or something? Or, like, there there's pieces missing? That's kind of like what Cloud is. Yeah, that's right, dude. Fuck Mako. Don't, don't smoke Mako. Don't inject it. This is what happens. I wonder if there's anything beyond that mountain. Mount Nabal is scary. Many people have died there. No one crosses that mountain alive. How about those that died? Did Mama pass through the mountains? I'm going. Who let these... These four babs just go to the mountains by themselves. Where are their parents? Uh, well, I know where Tifa's mom is, but... Um... 
Okay, th th this kid has sense. Oh, and there's Cloud, the straggler. <laughs> they just ditch her. Wow. Okay. This bitch is crazy. Let's go. Oh, that's right. And this happened. I don't remember the path I walked. Tifa missed her step. I ran to her. But didn't make it in time. Both of us fell off the cliff. Back then, I only scarred my knees, but... Cloud, why'd you bring Tiva to a place like this? What the hell's the matter with you? What if she dies? I've noticed that this bridge often has injuries associated with it. Tifa was in a coma for seven days. We all thought she wouldn't make it. If only I could have saved her. I was so angry. Angry at myself for my weakness. Ever since then, I felt Tifa blamed me. I got out of control. I'd get into fights not even caring who it was. That was the first time I heard about Sephiroth. If I got strong like Sephiroth, then everyone might. If I could just get stronger, then even Tifa would have to notice me. So that was it. Sorry, Cloud. If I had only remembered more clearly what happened, I could have done something sooner. It's not your fault, Tifa. But I remember back when we were eight. That's it. Now I know. You weren't created five years ago. My childhood memories weren't all made up. Hang in there, Cloud, just a little longer. Y you've almost found the real you. Then, let's go back to Nibelheim again. Um, that's because he is Tebastian. This cutscene, uh, is supposed to make you think Cloud really is a total puss. Cause that be true. <laughs> you ain't wrong. The truth is right there. We almost have the answer right in the palm of our hands. The real Cloud is a scared little boy. I... I mean that quite literally. Cloud, wait. Where are you going? The reactor? To the reactor! The, the Maker Reactor five years ago! I mean, they might as well be smoking something. They're high as fuck off Mako right now. Imagine there was a giant river of LSD, and you just sunk yourself into it. That's kind of what's happening to them. Hey, it's Cloud! Zack. 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 You remembered! 
Was that remembered spell wrong? That's right, it was Zack who came to Nibelheim with Sephiroth. Then, where were you, Cloud? Cloud, did you see, did you see it all? I saw everything. You, Mom, Tifa, my town, give it back. I had so much respect for you. I admired you. Cloud? That's what happened. That's right, Cloud was the no-name soldier. You were there. You were watching me. Yeah, I remember. Mm hmm so it was you. Hey, Cloud. If you're feeling sick, the... the something... Y yeah Oh my god, that went really, really fast. Yeah, this is me. I never made it as a member of Soldier. I even left my hometown, telling everyone I was going to join, but... I was so embarrassed, I didn't want to see anybody. Too fast, couldn't read. How did she not recognize his voice? He didn't really talk much. How does it feel? It's your first time back to your hometown in a long time, right? I'm... You came. You kept your promise. So you really did come when I was in trouble. Sorry. I didn't get there fast enough. It's alright, Cloud. Just like you. Do you think Claude would forgive Sathril if he came back and said I'm sorry for everything I did to you? Um... Yes. Cloud, kill Sephiroth! Sephiroth! Don't push your luck! It can be! <laughs> Fuck off! Oh my god, it still makes me laugh! Abs of steel, dude! 
He summoned all the energy into his abdominals and defeated Sephiroth. Wow. It's even funnier in the remake, actually. Or in, uh, in Crisis Core. Yeah, it's like, where the fuck is Genesis, then? This is where the story gets confusing as hell. Genesis throws... Angeal and Genesis both throw a wrench in this. And this is why I don't like Crisis Core that much. And it, it's more like... Did they... Were they, like, gone by that time? Did they just, like, fuck off? I think they did, actually. Cloud. Then... This is goodbye, Tifa. Until we meet again. Well, the thing is, like, I think Angeal and, um... Genesis were there. And I know they talked with Zack for a little bit. And then Zack got his ass kicked by Sephiroth. And then, like, I think Angeal and Genesis, like, left. And then Cloud showed up. I think that's what happened. But I don't think Zack ever told Cloud about Angeal or Genesis. I don't think they ever even met. So that might be why Cloud doesn't remember them, and why they never appeared in Cloud's memory at all. Because he never met them. I mean, that's the only way I can explain it. That is the only way. Um, it's not even specifically said anywhere that if they ever met or not, but uh, that's, that, that's, that's how the logic has to work. Huh? Angeal's dead by this point. Um... Was he dead? When, um... When Sephiroth beat the shit out of Zack? I thought he was there. I thought he was there and, like, all, uh, fucked up. Like, um, corrupted. And hanging out with, uh, Genesis. I can't remember that part very well. It was, it was, I was more, like, pissed off that they even rewrote it than anything. Angeal and Zack are the same person? No, Angeal is Zack's, like, mentor. Who, um, often wonders what J angels dream of. Cloud! Ugh. Genesis was common knowledge to all at Shinra? Was he really? He was like an elite soldier? That's right, him, Angeal, and Sephiroth were like buddies. They were like the top three. So yeah, it's, it, well, maybe Cloud didn't know Genesis was there. That could be. Maybe Cloud just didn't run into Genesis at all. Like Genesis just fucked off and went to go read whatever poetry he was so obsessed with. Um, cause that's what he loved to do. He loved to eat hair, and, uh, read poetry. What a neat, interesting character. Uh, uh, teeth, uh. Oh, Cloud, it's really you, isn't it? Yeah, Tifa. We finally meet again. Wait, Angeal clone. There was an Angeal clone. That's that's right too. Oh my God! Crisis Core is confusing as hell. You stupid jerk! You had us all worried sick. Cloud. Oh, Cloud, are you all right? I'm so sorry. <laughs> v voice there. I see. We're in the live stream, aren't we? Everyone's waiting. Let's go back, Cloud. Back to everyone. Yeah, I guess so. Come on, Tifa. Let's go home. Alright, so... If you've never seen FS7 before, I'd say 90% of the game is not like this. This part is, like, really c confusing, and the characters talk in broken sentences for fuck knows why. So... 
kind of like this is where the quality kind of dipped. Interesting part of the game, shame it wasn't translated properly. I'm sure it's better than like a fan translation or something, actually. Yo, you all right, Tifa? Tifa? Uh, uh. Anyways, Cloud's back. Barrett, you came back. I... Cloud, where is he? Don't worry about him. He's a tough one. Barrett, I... When I was in the live stream, I saw the real Cloud. I mean, I didn't really find him. Cloud found himself on his own. All right. I know. I shouldn't have doubted him. But I can't win against you. You're some kind of lady. People have so many things pent up inside of themselves. They can forget so many things. Strange, isn't it? Yo, Tifa, snap out of it! Tifa! Tifa! Everyone, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, Cloud. All you've been doing is apologizing. I never was in Soldier. I made up the stories about what happened to me five years ago. About being in Soldier. I left my village looking for glory. But never made it into Soldier. I was so ashamed of being so weak that I heard the story from my friend Zack and I created an illusion of myself made up of what I had seen in my life and I continued to play the charade as if it were true. Illusion, huh? Pretty damn strong for the illusion, I'd say. I'm physically built like someone in Soldier. Hojo's plan to clone Sephiroth wasn't that difficult. It was just the same procedure they use when creating members of Soldier. You see, someone in Soldier isn't ex <laughs> I need to stop doing that. Isn't simply exposed to Mako energy. Their bodies are actually injected with Genova cells. For better or for worse, only the strong can enter Soldier. It has nothing to do with the Genova reunion. But weak people, like me get lost in the whole thing. The combination of Genova cells, Sephiroth's strong will, and my own weaknesses are what created me. Everyone knew that. I'm Cloud. The master of my own illusionary world. But I can't remain trapped in an illusion anymore. I'm going to live my life without pretending. You're sure messed up, Cloud. That means there ain't no difference from before! Uh, by the way, Cloud, what are you gonna do now? Don't tell me you're gonna leave the ship. I'm the reason why Meteor is falling towards us. That's why I have to do everything in my power to fight this thing. Good. Then you're gonna keep fighting to save the planet? It's like you always told me, Barrett. Oh, uh, you mean that? What? I, I don't understand. There ain't no getting off this train we own. There ain't no getting off for this train we own. This train we on don't make no stops. Me out, that's right. Yes, I get to do Cloud's Metal Gear voice again! <laughs> oh, uh, Cloud. Cloud, I was deeply moved by your story. I'm really a weak person, and so I could really understand how you feel, Cloud. No one knows when fighting will begin, but let's be ready! 
Is it an old fuck with a computer voice in Kate Sith? Uh, not really. He's like, um, he's about as old as everyone else. I don't think he's, um, considered old at all, actually. Reeve? Reeve is a young bachelor. Listen, Cloud. Uh, we're in the middle of a mission for the huge materia, right? I know this is kind of out of the blue, but there's an underwater reactor Junin. As far as I can see, that's the only one left. That's that! Let's go! I like how his arm faced through this lair. Okay. Now we get to have fun with materia. So Cloud's back in business. Um, oh, Nailbat has absurdly high attack, or not really absurdly, just a little bit higher than organics. Um, I don't think there's really anything better than what I have now. Oh, ba -ba 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 -ba. yes, there is. I want to give uh, Cloud the Warrior Bangle and. Uh, Let's see. I think Vincent had Curse Ring, but I don't want to give... I could give Cloud Curse Ring, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to give... Uh... Is it possible to get the equipment off of Vincent? Or do I have to go to my PHS? I think I do. So let's get to the overworld really quick. Are you gonna go to sleep, Darth? Well, good night, dude. Thanks for stopping by, friend. Let's see. All right. Okay, we get to play with the party menu again. So I'm gonna put Vincent back in for a second. Oh, look, he's dead. Um, Gonna take off the curse ring for... I don't... Wait, can I just take this off? Please? How do I just remove? Vincent has things on him I don't want him to have anymore. His usefulness has ended. Let's see... Uh... Bup, 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 bup. I don't know. Give him... Can you look at the thing I sent you before? Okay, hold on. You're gonna go to... One sec. Let me look at this. What? Is, what is this? Oh, that's really cool, dude. I'll probably, um... I'll probably use that. Thank you, dude. Uh, he sent me, um... Hold on a sec. Where is my... I need to get my browser source up. Hold on. This is what, uh, Tabastian sent. Just a cool graphic. That looks pretty nice, dude. Thank you. I'll, uh... I'll see where I can use that. Good shit, man. I really appreciate that. That's awesome. Okay. So, I'm going to uh, give him a shitty item. How about that? Uh, we don't need Hypno Crown, I think, anymore. Yeah, it really is nice. Like, I'm not just saying that. Oh, right. That's right. No, no, no. I want his armor, too. Um, good night, dude. Thank you. I don't think we need eating code anymore. This thing kind of sucks, but uh, I can get all the material off in a second. So Vincent's out, Sid's in. I get my party of grumpy old men. Barrett and Sid are like my favorite characters in this game. I think they have some of the most development out of all the other side characters you can have. Let's see. 
So he has a crystal bangle right now. Um, there's probably a few different things I can equip to him. So the, the Imperial Guard has... Defense percentage of zero. Really? That's kind of shitty. What does that mean? That's like super low. But its defense overall is really high. I don't think I want to swap it out for the Crystal Bangle. Um, but what I do need to do is give Cloud... Hold on, I need to... Need to give Cloud all the material Vincent had. Hey, Servo, what's up? Okay, so, um, I'm going to give Cloud, let's see, added cut and death blow. And then we also give him. We want him to also have the death effect. So that way he, uh. So added effect and destruct magic. So that way he hits things twice. And each time he hits something, it has a chance for proccing the death effect, which is an instant kill. Uh, have you ever done the secret to get the Sephiroth Chocobo? The f Jeff, what? What is that? <laughs> what is a Sephiroth Chocobo? <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. There's a Sephiroth Chocobo. Are you having a go? Or are you being completely serious? Give him cover. Counterattack, uh, uh, Chocobo Lure, Luck Plus, uh, Steel, Enemy Skill. That should be really good. It's a Chocobo that has, like, Sephiroth hair. What? No lie? Alright, now I'm gonna give him Curse Ring, so now Cloud's, like, stupidly strong. Oh! Oh yeah, Jeff, are you... Well, actually, I don't want to ask that of you. I was going to ask what you if you were uh, playing Until Dawn, but that's rude. Let's see. Wizard bracelet. Um, carbon bangle. Silver armlet. I think this is like the best overall setup. All right, now. I know I still kind of asked it too, didn't I? I'm, I'm a I'm a piece of sh I'm a pizza shit. <laughs> I really like I'm I'm really into that game that he's he's playing. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's fun to watch. Anyways, uh, we need to go to Junin Harbor. Cloud's pretty overpowered right now. Yeah, it is a cool game, Jeff. So Junin Harbor is... Actually, is Weapon going around the world right now? Hold on, I want to see something. But I also need to save before I do this. So, this might be the point of the game where the weapons start appearing around the overworld. Um... Yeah, that's true, Jeff. That kind of goes for a lot of the games where, like, half the fun of the game is the gripping story and the shock and twists and turns. Games that, like, once you, once you already beat, like, a game like that once, or you've seen, like, at least half of it, the most of the fun of the game is gone. It kind of gives it no replayability. I mean, unless you like watching movies again, like watching movies more than once, but that's also way longer than a movie. So it's kind of hard to do. Oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to go over to the Chocobo stage. Where is he? Where is this guy? There he is. Yeah, I can think of a lot of games like that.
like that are only really good um like once uh unfortunately undertale does fall under that category as much as i would love to replay it again uh it just doesn't have the sh the same impact it would the first time around it's probably the best example that i can go off that most people would know Oh, oh, it's unusual for people to come out to come to such an out of the way place. I can't remember how many years it's been since the last person came. Who are you? Me? Uh, I'm. Uh, uh, I don't know. You don't know who you are. Been a while since I gave it any thought. I wonder what they used to call me. Oh yeah, they called, used to call me the Chocobo Sage, that's right. Right, that was it, the Chocobo Sage. No one would forget that. Now what can I do for you for? I'm f Let's see. So this guy eventually will teach me how to get a Chocobo like this. If I feel like it. Oh, hello. What'd you give me? Oh, enemy skill! Yeah, streaming Undertale is really hard right now. Um. Really? You made a Chocobo guide, Jeff. I'll have to watch it. Link me in in Discord, and I'll uh, probably check it out. Because I actually really, really don't remember how to do the whole Chocobo thing. I usually just go for Ruby Weapon and just say, fuck it. Um. It's so bad. Oh. Okay, you don't have to show me then. <laughs> if if you're embarrassed by it. But um yeah, Undertale was I streamed that game when it first came out when I had like an audience of like maybe 10 people. Um and it wasn't bad because you know, small chat. But uh, yeah, now I don't know. When you seems like nowadays when someone streams that caliber of game it's just the chat like people like actively seek out the stream and then come in the chat just to I don't know I guess backseat and haggle the shit out of you for doing things wrong <laughs> it's just annoying to deal with really it's not fun for the stream at all Yeah, people get insulted by my choices too. It's it's I don't know what 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 is the deal with that? Why? People will always be really annoying. Like, I don't know. Yeah, oh yeah, Jeff. I don't want to say like Yeah, the the chat at first was getting a little out of hand. It slowed down in the middle though. I kind of left though. I had to get some things done, but <laughs> I heard it, it didn't, it was a little, a little rocky at first, and, uh, towards the end, too. Uh, people just want people to play the game, like, their way, and honestly, that's not very fun for the streamer. Yeah, I was seeing a lot of, like, go that way, and sh stuff like that, and there's secret over there, do it, and I'm just like, dude, half the fun of this game is exploring. Let the dude explore, for f <laughs> please. I think when it comes to Earthbound, it's more like, I want to get the key to Midgar, so I'm going to go here. I think um, the half the fun of Earthbound is like getting kind of lost and exploring. Because the game is, the, the overlying theme of the game is that you're a kid. You're kind of thrust out into this big scary world. And you don't know what's going on. You don't know where really where to go. And you have to like talk to people to figure things out. And you got to really explore. But a Twitch chat goes nuts when people try to play it that way like earthbound is plot is very vague for a reason and it gives you vague areas vague like objectives to go off of until you finally get into the groove of like how the story is supposed to progress it's really really well done but i think twitch chat kind of ruins it and i feel really bad for large streams that try and attempt uh playing it like i don't know i almost want to tell like 
I almost want to tell him, man, to turn the, the chat off. And, like, if he has questions, just talk to us on Discord or something. Not to, like, be elitist, but, I mean, it's... It's gonna... It would make me hate the game. It would really make me hate the game. And it's a good game. Exactly. Earthbound really wants you to connect the dots on your own. And it's like, if, if you have chat telling you where every objective point is before you even have knowledge of it, it's like, what? Dude, this ruins the entire game. You might as well just play it yourself. It's, I mean, it's, it's you're watching the streamer experience the game. It's not Twitch plays the game, you know? Very, very different concepts there. That's, that's what always bothers me about, like, streaming Undertale and Earthbound and all that stuff. If the chat wasn't so demanding over, and like, a reactive, I think it would be a much smoother experience. Yeah, Doc, he's not, he's not gonna do that. Trust me. It's not, I don't think it's gonna ever happen. Maybe if, like, we got, like, I don't know. I could only see it working as a charity incentive, and even then, that's just my idea. I doubt he would do it either way. <laughs> it's just too much of a shit show. And then, and then, and then, you know, when people start fighting too in chat, that's when we have to get kind of get kind of um, assertive with the chat. <laughs> and it's not something I particularly enjoy doing. I like seeing chat just being nice and relaxed. I don't like being that guy. I know he jokes about it, but I mean, that's... Uh, it's, I don't think it's going to go much beyond a joke, my friend. Alright, I'll lend you some of my staff. Show us where you want to dig. So right now I'm trying to find the key to Midgar. Um, I think it's right here. Like, you gotta put a guy there? There's like six possibilities, I think, of how this can play out. Um, but basically, once I get the key to Midgar, I can go back in to Midgar and get a few things in there. I know I need to go to Junin right now, and I said I was going to go there, but then I remembered, like, oh yeah, this is the thing I can do right now, because Cloud's back. Yes, yeah, Servo. See, it's... I think if you're watching a streamer play an RPG, like a normal Twitch stream... Just enjoy what the streamer does, you know? Just try and... Try and enjoy the stream for who the streamer is. I think that... I think that's the beauty of Twitch. And if you want to go to a stream where, like, the streamer will follow every direction you want to do, there are streams for that. But I don't think they're the... I don't think, um... The one I'm talking about is that stream. In fact, I know it's not. I know, I know that makes him upset more than anything. It's, like, the most annoying thing. Go this way! Oh, yeah, Doc, you did give me an image about this. Hold on, let's... Doc gave me an image to, um... Do this part, I think. Let's see. Is this still working? Uh... Unfortunately, Doc, I've lost your image. Instead, it has been replaced with Titan Tales. Um... You're gonna have to give me it again! <laughs> Can you please like me the image again? <laughs> oh, 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 you don't like Titan Tales? Here you go. <laughs> this is Titan Tales, everyone. Brought to you by Ken Penders. This is when he defeats Mammoth Mogul by sucking up all his energy into his ass. This is a real comic book. I, I have it. <laughs> We were discussing this one day, and it was left in the fucking, the fucking links for the browser. Incredible. Where, where is Marissa when I need her? Please just give me the image. <laughs> fucking hell, mate.
Uh, it, it's somewhere over here. Do they need to even be looking at it? Like, can I just dig where the item's supposed to be? Because I know it's right here. Okay, there it is. I see I see your link, Doc. It didn't get, actually get deleted. I, I can see all things. I'm just gonna regular you. Fuck it. Regular... Add Dr. Nicholas. Reg, reg, regulars. Uh, there you go. Uh, that shit won't happen anymore. You like that dupe noise? Okay. Let's put that up. So, oh boy. That is not scaled very well. That's kind of blurry. That's a little better. Uh. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to read this for a second. Okay. Oh, that is not what I wanted to move. God damn it. That's not what I wanted to move. Please select the fucking browser source. My god. Stop moving my gooey. My gooey. Alright. Um... The reason the map is replaced with Titan Tails is because I, uh, I was looking up Titan Tails for one, for the, uh, Star Fox race, to explain what it was, and I put a picture up, but I replaced the map image with it. Okay, so, the key to Midgar is position number five. So, cloud back from a deal. It's a hundred percent. So it's right there by the crashed airplane. Um, there's also, okay, we don't want the bunt line, we don't want the mega elixir. We could get the mop at position four. So I'm looking at four, five, and seven. So there's two spots the key spawns in. So four, five, and seven. Can you not get everything? No, you can get everything. It's just a lot of this stuff is useless. And it's the same stuff. Oh, you can get it three times. There's also six. So four, so, so five, six, and seven are all the keys. You only need one key. So that I guess one of, do I just, Hold on, this method allows you to get the treasure for free. Don't place any workers and walk over the spot. Okay, I see. I see. Good to know. Um, I feel like this is all fucked up now. Fucking hell. Uh, can I just dig here? This is where the key's supposed to be. I didn't get it. I need to have, like, no workers. Alright, so I'm gonna do it again, but without any workers. And then the key should appear. So, good treasure. Done. Alright. So it should be right here. I think. All right, press square. Good to know you can cheap this out and it's not entirely random. Yeah, this is this isn't right. Hold on. Oh, this is this is not how this is supposed to look. It's got to be like It's got to be just perfect. Yeah, there we go. I think it's back to normal now. Sorry, I'm like, I'm like, fretting over little pixels. A potion! Oh, fuck off! Wait, do I have to select Lunar Harp? That's already been excavated. 
Uh, Titan, it's missing Titan Tails. <laughs> Titan Tails is gone, dude. I, I already swapped the link out. It'll come back another day. Ken Penders, please don't sue. Wait, oh fuck, I didn't mean to hit the- Ah, I didn't mean to hit the button! How could- how'd I get out of this? Oh, you fuck. Alright, well, I'll order some searches then. I already messed up. Maybe I'll get lucky, and it'll give me one for free. Have you done the Phoenix thing yet? Yeah, we ha we have Phoenix. Um... Phoenix is the, uh, Condor, uh, fortress. And, uh... Yeah, the, the Burb mission's already done. You can also get Phoenix here, apparently, and Bahamut Zero. Or Neo Bahamut, I should say. Imagine a really buff Eggman. Uh... What are you talking about, man? He's got... He, Eggman's, uh... Eggman's dad bod, dude. He's already buff. Dad bod is, like, thick for men, apparently. That's what I'm being told. Got a mop! <laughs> Who gets the mop? Oh, you get the mop! Uh, I got Sid's joke weapon. That's beautiful. Let's see. Try this again. Yeah, uh, Grey Ghost, you're not wrong. Uh, I attribute a lot of the, uh... I think... I, I think I attribute a lot of the weird parts of the Sonic fandom to the comic books from that time period that Ken Penders was definitely in control. Um... It went on for quite a while. And it seems like a lot of the people that were, I guess, became infamous on the internet for being weird-ass Sonic people, um, were big fans of his work. Oh, fuck yes, there we go. So, yeah, I would say, like, his, uh, his comics did not help. It just made shit weirder. I'm so glad that they've been written out of existence. Like, they, they don't even exist. They completely, like, rebooted the entire comic series to be good now. It is no longer this, uh, this strange political drama about furry creatures fighting other furry creatures who want to be robot Nazis and do Zeg Hells and, uh, have, like, ongoing political drama and racial tension. Uh, that, that, that that whole comic book is so fucking weird whenever there's like Ken Penders writing it every issue blows my mind okay I think I got everything I want I got the mop and I got the key yeah those comics I mean often like I the only times I really ever see Ken Penders comics are when people are shit posting now and it's just like you know what it's funny I like Sonic Adventure 2, dude. Sonic Adventure 2 is actually a good game. It was like the last competent Sonic game, especially for the time it came out. Midgar, Midgar, I just flew right the fuck over it. Everything after Sonic Adventure 2 kind of sucks, though. The current works of Pen Ken Penders? Oh, dude, I already know. Oh my god, I already know, and I know exactly what you just linked. Uh, it's... It's nightmarish! Was it a huge contributing factor? I feel like it was already started before that. You mean, like, because of Shadow? Because he was, like, a Sonic OC? 
The comics were doing that shit long before Shadow was a thing. Man, I, I remember being like... Like, eight. And seeing like Sonic OCs. In the fucking comic book. My, I would always, my, my mom would always take me to, uh, like the local 7-Eleven to pick out comic books. And I always get the Sonic one. And since these comic books had such a weird, deep, intricate plot, I could never fucking understand what the hell I was reading. But I know, what I did know is that there was like Sonic recolors in it. I didn't know what a Sonic recolor was at the time, so I assumed they were all Sonic. And I'm like, why is Sonic a, a teal color now and acting like he's Robin Hood? Why is he talking like a medieval person? What what is what is this comic book that I'm reading right now? It was weird. I, I, my child brain did not understand that Ken Penders had made a Sonic OC, that there was more than one hedgehog in the series, and that Sonic the Hedgehog, in fact, was not in this comic book at all, but it was something else. It was someone else. It was like uh, I think the hedgehog's name was actually Rob, and I'm like. I, uh, the internet had not yet, unfortunately, been revealed to me at that age. I was still very innocent, so I just assumed it was Sonic. And he was, like, being Bugs Bunny or something and putting on disguise. Boy, was I fucking wrong. Only years later did I realize... That's funny, did I drop the key to this gate somewhere? Was it when I was on that excavation tour? There's just like a key to this fucking gate. <laughs> Anyways, we're back in Midgar. Oh shit, this is... Pay attention. Look. Who it is? My favorite person. What is she doing? Yeah, Ruin, there's a lot of Sonic Sonic the Hedgehog comics where Sonic's not even fucking in them. Like, I mean, an overwhelming amount. And instead, you just get Ken Penders OCs. Look at her. Is that a ghost? I wonder, to, I wonder if I can do this trick right now. Hold on. There's a trick you can do. If you go towards her... I, I mean, I'll spoil it now. If you go towards her, she'll disappear. But, if you go, if you go fast! Did I do it? No, I didn't do it. If you walk, okay, if you go over that one, that, this spot right here, um, she'll disappear. But, if you're, what I do know is there's a glitch where if you, if the game takes too long to load the area, just by like a second, and you walk over this spot while the area is still loading, and Cloud like spawns in right here. Um, she she won't disappear. And I think some like interesting dialogue happens, like dialogue that's not supposed to be there. I jumped up in the stream, did I? I didn't see an encoding issue. They're pretty. Oh god, there it is. What on earth is happening? Yeah, okay, I see it. The encoder's being weird again. Oh boy. What is happening with this? Hold on, let me check my resources, because that's not cool. 38. I don't see anything using up memory. There's OBS. That's so weird. I don't know why it's doing that suddenly. Hey, where's the flower lady? If it keeps doing that, um... Shit, I don't want to have to restart again. 
I don't think I can go back there. Uh... Maybe I should... Okay, there it goes again. Yeah, well... Okay, I see the encoders fuck it up. Um... <sighs> give me a minute, please. I'm gonna try and fix this. I will be right back. Um... Give me five minutes. No, it, it's... It's not the, um... It's not Twitch. It's me. I see the notifications for it now. Something is happening there, and I'm not sure what it is. So, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna shut down the stream real quick. BRB!